Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are looking at our budget MTG upgrades. This time we're looking at unblockable, so making creatures unblockable, which is a little bit powerful, believe it or not. Please hit like and subscribe. Also, if you want to uh, give us any feedback or suggestions, on Facebook it's MTG Nerd in Korea. So yeah, lots of different ways you can uh, get a hold of uh, a hold of me there. Yeah. So what is budget? Two dollars or less? It's always the rule, and that is for this one as well. Sometimes it's a little bit lower, but anyway. And I'm using the TCG market value, not a sponsor. No, not at all. Tech upgrades. Okay. Evasion is always a powerful tool. A uh, tool. Tool. I don't know how many vowels I had there. Anyway. There are many types of evasion. So when we say evasion, just mean ways to make things unblockable. Here, I'm looking at just making them unblockable. We also have one land walk, a very, very flexible land walk. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Number five. Amphin Path Mage. Amphin Path Mage. Is three and a blue for a three, two. For two and a blue, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Okay, that's a lot of mana, but it doesn't require tapping, and which means you can do it multiple times in a single turn. Also, this doesn't say creature you control. Any creature. If you have three mana, or with like, if you can put Zerda in the deck, I guess you'd need like a Jeskai deck for that, but if you have Zerda in there, you can reduce the cost of the ability down to one blue, and then for one blue, you can just like hit anything you want whenever you want, and also let anything else hit. So it's, this is a great political tool as well, where like you can say, oh, you're, I'll give your commander unblockable, and you go hit this person that's like the main problem. There you go. Commander damage win con. You can get like your opponents fighting each other with this. It's really good. Anyway, seven cents. Number four, Trailblazers Brute Boots. I definitely need more coffee. I recently, I forgot about these ones and then I played against someone who pulled these uh, recently and I was like, oh, they, they're doing in fact as well. So yeah, I, I took the toxic damage right away. Lost that game pretty quick. Anywho, um, two for this equipment. Equip creature has non-basic land walk. Equip two. Okay, land walk always means the, that if they have that type of land, they can't block you. So mountain walk means anyone that has a mountain, the keyword mountain can't uh, can't block you. So again, it's not just like if it actually is like a mountain card. It's like if it has the land type. I should say land type mountain. So even the triomes that say mountain. That's one of their three, that would count, right? This is non-basic land. So anything that's not a basic land, yeah. Even when I was playing against this, I only had basic lands, and then the next turn came after my opponent played this. The next turn came, and I was like, so I've only got a non-basic land to play. Do I play this and I can be attacked without being able to block, or do I just miss a land drop? tough choices you have to make when it's, that's one really good thing about like any kind of card if it makes it harder for your opponents to make choices that's really good anyway 197 number three okay aqueous form i almost feel like this should be number two but we'll talk about that for one blue is an aura okay auras you're going to get this out of the way the next one is an aura as well Downside for auras is that if the creature gets sent to the graveyard, this goes with it, right? So equipment is really nice because it stays on the battlefield. Auras do not. So if the creature gets a removal spell or something cast on it, this is gone as well. So that's something to consider, but enchanted creature can't be blocked. Hmm. Permanently can't be blocked. And whenever the enchanted creature attacks, scry one. So every time you attack with this, you get to scry one as well, which is really quite good. 
21 cents. Number two. Uh, I was really not sure where to put this. If it was two or three, but anyway. One in a blue, so a little bit higher. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one power and can't be blocked. So do you want plus one power? Or do you want to scry one? Also, the scry one is a little bit cheaper. Plus one power is not a lot, but if you're going for especially commander damage, right? That's why I put this at number two. Because you're probably, if you're going to go for a commander damage win con, you're probably using some kind of like doubling effect, like double strike or even just doubling the damage. So that plus one is going to be plus two pretty quickly, maybe even more. And yeah, it'll it'll add up quickly, especially if you're, even if you're not trying to one shot, if you're going for, yeah, blah, 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 if you're going for a two shot, this is like almost 10% of what you need right there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It can be useful. Um, but 24 cents. Number one. Okay, Laura, Mary Thief. This is better than I realized. I've had this card forever, and I think I read it and went like, meh. It wasn't until I was get prepping for this list that I went, oh, wait, this is actually pretty good. Um. Okay, so two and a blue. Whenever you attack, up to one target attacking creature can't be blocked this turn. Return that creature to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. Also, you get to choose a background, so if you want to use this as your commander, you can like add more color identities to it, which is very, very handy. Also, having an enchantment in your uh, command zone is very nice, but anyway. So, one creature can't be blocked when you attack. Not when she attacks, when you attack. The player ha only has to attack. So if you want to like send your commander in, you can do that. The downside is that the card goes back to your hand. The creature goes back to your hand. So that's maybe a downside, maybe a benefit. If you've got like something where you want to keep doing the ETB, or if you've got a way to like cheat creatures into play easily, this can be actually extremely useful, right? If you want to be setting off those ETBs, even like. I wish I had blue in my ally Kindroid deck. It's a Mardu, so no blue. Um, I will put this in for sure, because al the ally, you could return the ally to your hand and then just keep playing it and activating all of those ETVs over and over and over. It would be brutal. Anyway, seven whole cents for her. In the right deck, amazing. A list. Okay, Amphin Path... <clears throat> Amphen Path Mage is seven cents. Trailblazer's Brutes is one ninety-seven, barely in my budget range. Just squeak it in. Aqueous Forum is twenty-one cents. Ether Tunnel is twenty-four cents. Alora Merry Thief is seven cents. Really amazing card in the right deck. Anyway, take it easy.